Come here, son, nephew, young man. Let me holler at you. I don't know about you, but my eyes ain't quite what they used to be. But at one point, I didn't even really think about wearing sunglasses until I started coaching football. I didn't even play football in high school. Go figure. But anyway, life is like that sometimes. So anyway, the first pair of high-end glasses I bought, because I noticed the guys that... So I used to buy cheap glasses, and I would keep losing them, because they were cheap, and I didn't care. And um, I said, okay. The other coaches all had Oakley's. There was a Nike outlet store in Shreveport, Louisiana, where I was living at the time. So I bought these, and you can see these have been everywhere and back. Um, the lenses, all the polarization, whatever is gone. Um, I don't even know what these are called. They're, I mean, these are like, man, 13 years old, something like that. I hadn't wore them in about that same amount of time. Now, at one point when I became an assistant principal and uh, no, 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 no. I said, I asked one of the coaches, man, what is it with the Oakley sunglasses? And he said, here, once I hand you these glasses, you're going to end up buying a pair. And I put them on and I tell you, it's like you can see the world difference. I, I didn't realize that the polarization can make certain, you know, depending on what colors that it's blocking out. Uh, what color the lens is blocking out, it does kind of make certain images sharper. Like when you're fishing, for example, when I wear these fishing, I can see, uh, you know, maybe a layer or two below the water. I can see some turtles moving and stuff like that. But he was right. So I bought a pair of these Oakleys. Uh, these are the Oakley Bat Wolves or Bat Wolves. I don't know. Uh, this thing here, the little the logo pops out. So if you want to have a different color logo, you can. When I was young and cared about being cute and uh, fancy and all that kind of stuff, I would uh, actually worry about that. I don't think I have any more of those left. This is the uh, soft case that came with it. I bought a hard case. You know, these are two hundred dollar glasses. So at the time, I was looking like, well, let me protect my two hundred dollar glasses. But here's the problem. When you drop them and the lenses get scratched up. These are not the lenses that came with these. Uh, when I was living in North Louisiana and had the opportunity to hunt all the time, I bought these as well. Uh, these lenses are more like what you'll get factory. So what I ended up noticing was, number one, I cared too much about these glasses. That was part of the problem. Kids like to fight at these schools and stuff. They'll tear all your stuff up and tear all your clothes up and then you'll be out of a pair of $200 glasses. And um, I think these replacement lenses, I got these on eBay a few years back, probably like in 2016, maybe 2017, maybe even later than that. But the replacement lenses are like 30 or 40 bucks. Um, so, you know, again, I was very careful with these. I babied them. Well, here's the deal, man. Um, it's so much more convenient to leave, for me at least, to leave sunglasses in my truck so I don't have to worry about, you know, um, trying to find them, bringing them inside, bringing them outside. You know, it just became a hassle. So I bought some cheaper glasses that I've lost. Like I said, I lose them when they're cheap. And um, after a while, I just, I started getting some glasses, sunglasses from the Dollar Tree, man. They have aviator shades at the dollar tree now they're the frames are like literally like clothes hangers i mean you can't you know bend them but for a dollar who cares i even had a kid who uh was playing around with him and took him home and you know uh took him home probably stole him but okay we'll just say that the kid uh because it's a dollar and it's a kid it's a high school kid all right she said um oh yeah i forgot to bring your sunglasses back okay whatever and I could just leave those in the little Dollar Tree case that I bought and leave it in the uh, truck. Um, eventually, I wanted some polarized glasses because the lenses, the optical experience with these Oakleys is superior. But I'll tell you, with these, the main problem is, in addition to worrying about them getting stolen if you want to leave them or something like that, and then again, I don't even know if they're that popular anymore where anybody would steal them, but I'm not going to run that risk. Um, 
when these uh, get hit, they do break away. Um, that was kind of, um, I don't know. I'm not going to say inconvenient. But the other issue I have with these is they make your face sweat. So if you're coming, you're getting in your vehicle from a summer day, this is covering all your temple, um, you know, under, under your eye, and they'll start to fall. So... I just kept going with, with my aviator shades for a little while. And I had some other, I think I had some Kenneth Cole reaction and one other, uh, I forget. I think I got some fossil sunglasses too, some aviator shades from fossil. They were pretty good, but, uh, I got to, uh, my son was playing baseball for a little while and I bought us some shades from, uh, Academy. And uh, I'd use them for when I was doing his training, when he was serious about football. He says he's not serious now. OK, you know, no, no, nothing wrong with moving on in life. But um, that made life convenient for us because those doubled for us when we were fishing and um, leaving them hanging for so long. One pair I wore less than the others. They kind of like, I guess, dry rotted or something or the, the plastic, you know, basically just snapped one day on one pair and, and, and then the other pair got hit lifting some um some machinery and some um and some boxes and stuff like that so these are from story coast and it looks like just a white label brand or something like that you can you can see the same glasses listed as something else but um i was just looking for some polarized lenses that had enough space around the temple area where my where my face could breathe and i'm gonna tell you these are some darn good glasses. I got these two for 25. The only thing I hate was the other pair was like this red color on the inside. And it would give me headaches. So I uh, I gave that red pair away to a student because our, our school colors are black and red. And I just stuck with these. I used these Costa, this Costa lanyard. I don't know if Costa glasses are going to be worth the price, and I don't think I'm going to find out because, again, I don't know why I can't zoom in right now. Ain't that something? Uh, I don't know what to tell you about the focus on these, but it says Costa. Uh, Costa makes some pretty good lanyards. Um, and I may try a pair of Costa glasses one day, but um, these Story Coast deals do just fine. You know, so for me, I don't feel the need to pay 200 bucks for a pair of sunglasses. I hang these up on my rearview mirror every day when I get out of my truck. I got a red lanyard too. Um, and they serve me just fine. I don't know if you can tell, but they're darn near as dark as these aftermarket lenses from Oakley. Um, you can't really see behind the lens because I think they're about the same level of darkness, to be honest. So... I like these, uh, I guess maybe if I, I don't know, because I, I didn't even find them until uh, uh, screen named The Infiltrator. Shout out to The Infiltrator, my guy from Austria. There's a couple of products I like to purchase from Austria. We won't go into detail about that, but uh, these just ain't going to get worn that much. You know, I guess maybe now since I, I went and dug them up and I paid 200 bucks for them, I may wear them. A little more often. I may even wear these today just for old time's sake and just because I like camouflage. But honestly, these off-brand Story Coast deals, I think I think as with anything else, technology improves over time. And the need to keep making things more expensive when it's cheaper to make that technology or maybe as newer technology comes out, there may be something better than these out there. But for me, I just need something to keep that sun out of my eyes when I'm driving. And these Story Coast from Amazon deals do just fine. You can email me at motivationequation at gmail.com. The like button is free. You're welcome to leave a comment. If you think anybody might be interested in this type of subject, you're welcome to share. I'd be interested to know if uh, if there's, you know, some alternative opinions on the whole sunglass deal these days. I think that, by the way, I'm looking at this uh, this rubberized matte black material that helps helps keep the sun out of your eyes too. Whereas this black lacquer type material reflects it, and it can kind of. Eh, I don't even think that makes a difference. But as always, never lose the will to win. Never lose the will to survive.